In Kenosha, a police officer is being commended for her work preventing drunk driving. We heard about her story at our TMJ4 listening session last week in Kenosha. Dozens of people showed up at church and market to talk to us about issues impacting them. As our Jeffrey Zampani learned, one officer has gone above and beyond to keep the road safe. One, two, three. It's a familiar scene. Four, five. On Wisconsin roads, impaired drivers putting themselves okay. and others at risk. All right, you are under arrest for offering while intoxicated, okay? That arrest is just the first step in the path to prosecution. And it has to be exact. It has to be by the state standards. And if officers aren't following those exact standards, it can open you up to um, having your case fail. Kenosha police officer Bridget Hyde recognized one too many drunk drivers skirting punishment on technicalities. Um, there have been some mistakes that shouldn't be made that are being made, not intentionally. No officer wants their case to be dismissed because of a mistake. She implemented a department-wide training program that not only helps officers identify drunk and impaired drivers, but make sure they follow every step so offenders are prosecuted. Uh, the work that Officer Hyde has done has kind of brought officers back to the basics. I saw for myself what that looked like by doing one of the field sobriety tests. I was told to lift one leg and stare at my shoe for what seemed like an eternity. So a lot of people try to cheat the test and they'll look straight ahead and they keep their balance a lot better that way. The city's attorney's office recently honored Officer Hyde for her continued effort in keeping the community a safer place. For me, it's just second nature. So uh, I love teaching this stuff. I'm, I'm so thankful that the officers have been very receptive. The Kenosha Police Department reached out to us at last week's TMJ4 News listening session in Kenosha, where we found out just how important traffic safety is to the community. If you have a story to share, feel free to reach out to me at jeffrey.zamponti at tmj4.com. In Kenosha, Jeffrey Zamponti, TMJ4 News. All right, nice work. And we wanted to let you know the next TMJ4 listening session will be next month in Waukesha. We are still working out the time and location, but once we get it set in stone, we will let you know.